Hello and welcome to this Get Response Autoresponder tutorial where I'm going to show you how to set up a Get Response Autoresponder. Obviously, this is going to be the software I'm using. If you'd like to follow along, I will put a link in the description. They come with a free account, which is always nice. And this is going to be great if you want to send emails automatically over a specific period of time, as it shows right here. This is kind of layout of how it looks. For example, on the first day, right when they opt in, they can get an email. And then you can pick and choose when emails are going to go out. You can do this for a very long time if you like. Uh, when I had get response, I've had them many times. I created a fresh account to show you this, but I remember I saved a picture. Uh, I did a video not too long ago. I think I said I went for like 70 or 80 days. It actually went to 152. It might have gone a little bit longer, but this is just the possibility of showing you what's possible when it comes to actually getting leads and then creating your autoresponder follow-up just so you can continue on that way does it in the background, which is always a good thing. Uh, let's begin. So what you want to do is go to tools, autoresponders, and then create autoresponder right here. So untitled autoresponder, the name will appear on the list of messages. So I like making this the same name as the subject line. That's what I usually like doing, whether it's a broadcast or anything like this. So let's just say it's going to be something like, Hey, click here to download your ebook and bonuses. This is just something I like doing. I like adding a call to action on the first email, whether it's going to be, you know, welcome email, downloading a lead magnet, you know, obviously, if there's something they can uh, do or take action, I like doing that. So I'm just going to scroll down and quickly add that as the subject line. So it's similar. So autoresponder settings, let's go in this. So this is the absolute first one. So we want to do on day zero in the same time as they sign up. So you can also allow the messages to be sent on specific days. I like keeping all of these checked because if someone signs up for a lead magnet, like they're expecting to get it right away. So if you take off Saturday, or Sunday, for example, and they go to access it on Saturday, they have to wait till Monday and they're going to be like, where the heck is it? Okay. So uh, I like keeping all those checked for those reasons. Also, one thing you want to keep in mind is the linked list. Make sure that you have the proper list because whatever list you're using for this is the one that's going to be getting these emails when they sign up. Okay. So from email address, pretty standard subject line. This is going to be where we design the message. So let's just click on this here. I love using blank templates, so I'm going to click on blank template, and I'm going to go with this one right here. Let's click on use template. Okay, and this is business as usual. Your email is going to go here, so so your welcome email here. Obviously, you're going to want to write that out. I did a separate video in case you need help about writing your first welcome email. I'll link that in the description if I remember. If I forget, just leave me a comment down below and I'll add that for you. Either way, once you get that done, this is, isn't about creating the emails, more about the setup. Click on next. And what you want to do is scroll down. That's going to be good to go. Click tracking is on. You can track link clicks with Google Analytics if you want to set that up, but that's going to be a completely different tutorial. Click tracking is it going to be good enough for that. Let's click on save and publish. All right, so there we are. So it's going to be sent immediately on any day of the week. In other words, right when they sign up or they you know enter in their email in your squeeze page, landing page, and they get taken to the thank you page in the background, it's going to be sent out. You can also look at it this way if you want to do kind of the bigger view like that but I like this one actually. It's easier to see the stats and so on and so forth. And now we're, what we're gonna wanna do from here is just gonna be the same exact steps. The only difference is going to be when the emails go out and what the emails are. So in order to do our next one, you're gonna wanna do create autoresponder. And this is gonna be on day two, okay? I still like same time as sign up time. So originally, let's just say they signed up for your lead magnet on Saturday at 9 p.m. What that means is if you choose same time as sign up time, two days later, they're going to get it at 9 p.m. Okay. I like doing this because you know that they're at least there's higher chances of them being on their computer or laptop because they've shown evidence of that previously. Because usually when someone browses the internet, that's when they're going to do their stuff. And then, you know, obviously they could be somewhere else, but I just like keeping it that way. You can change it if you want. So you can do it with a delay of or exactly at. It's really up to you. But if you want to get specific, you could do like exactly at like, I don't know, 5 p.m. or so on and so forth. This can be a little bit more flexible given the time that they don't need to get a lead magnet immediately. Rather, instead, maybe you can change it around to what you think the best open time will be. But if you want to keep things as simple as possible, same time as sign up time, uh, and it could be sent on any day. Okay, once again, business as usual. This is going to be your subject line. Okay, whatever that is, once again, I like just copying that because you're going to see this in the autoresponder section. So you know which email it is. Once again, let's do design message. Same thing as before, blank templates. Let's use the blank one. Let's add our text. Your email goes here. Okay, do your complete email. 
Let's go to next. And if we scroll down, that's going to be good to go. Click tracking is on, save and publish. All right, perfect. So as you can see, this is going to be sent immediately. Then this is going to be two days later. And if you look in the calendar, it's going to show exactly like that. So what you can also do is just click on here and do add. You can do it that way. It's really up to you how often you want to send emails, but uh, this is a great way of automating your email marketing. The cool thing about it is that you can do a few of these. Let's just say you have your first one. If you're doing them every two days, you can do one here and maybe here and start sending in, you know, leads to your squeeze page so that you can build up your list. And like every Every day, just do one, you know? So if you're right here, you can do one and it's gonna go right here. Next day, do one, it's gonna go here. And eventually you can just keep creating these autoresponder series instead of doing the broadcast. That's really gonna be up to you though. That's kind of the magic of autoresponders is that you can automate a lot of your email marketing. And of course you can do broadcasts every now and then if you have something important to send out, you know, maybe you have a coupon, a discount, a launch, whatever it's going to be. You know, you can go as long as I did when it comes to 152 days and longer. You can do even more. It's really up to you, but I hope you got a lot out of this when it comes to setting up the get response autoresponder. Once you know how to do those few steps, it's just a repetition and a repetition of the process and those steps that I showed you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you want to check out GetResponse, the link will also be in the description for your free account. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video.